All right, little leaders, welcome to the class. We are going to get a warm up today that's going to kind of go all over the different stripes that you have to earn throughout this cycle because testing is coming up. So let's get started. We're going to face front. We're going to strong bow. All right, then point to your ear, say, I'm a good listener. Strong muscles, say, I'm a hard worker. Then stand in tension, say, I am a leader, sir. Then strong bow. All right, we're going to get started with 10 jumping jacks, but here's the deal. You have to do them at the same pace as me, and we're going to go from slow to fast. 10 jumping jacks, stay with me, ready, go for it. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, 10, sir. Did you do it? <laughs> All right, here we go. High block, low block, this is strike number one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back away from me and go high block, low block. Keep stepping backwards. All right, when you get back where you can't go back anymore, jog forward and do it again. High, low, keep going, high low high low high low run back to the front high low don't quit high low two more high low last one high low good now let's go to our sparring stance stripe uh, number two is double round kick back fist now we're not stretched yet so i'm not kicking really high okay i'm just kicking about as high as my hip so again i'm going to pick up my front leg hide my foot behind me round kick one round kick two Back fist on the same arm. I can even switch into the other side if I want to. Round kick, round kick, back fist. Ready, set, and go. Round kick, round kick, back fist. Round kick, round kick, back fist. I can switch legs if I want. Round kick, round kick, back fist. Good, keep going. Five, four, a three, a two. Can I get one more? A boom. Good job. Here we go. Here we go. Now, for there, we have reverse elbow strikes. So we've talked about this before. It's like grabbing a handle and pulling it really fast. Grabbing this handle, pulling it really fast. 10 seconds of pulling handles. Ready, go. Grab, pull. That's a backwards elbow. Backwards elbow. Grab, pull. Grab, pull. Grab, pull. Grab, pull. We have five seconds left. Keep going. And four. Keep going. And three. Keep going. And two seconds left. And whew, time. All right, good job. Now from here, we have our self-defense. Now our self-defense is, let's pretend you're sitting uh, in your yard or you're standing in an aisle in a, sh in a store somewhere. Mom and dad aren't super close, let's say. Now they should be, but let's just say they're not. And you see somebody coming at you and they reach out, maybe they're gonna grab a hold of you or whatever, and you don't know these people, so they're like a stranger. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hands up like this, like you're telling someone to stop with your hands, and then say, stop, you're not my mom, you're not my dad, let me go. All right, by saying this to a stranger, that would stop a stranger from being able to grab a hold of you because other people would pay attention and that stranger would probably get scared and run away, okay? So again, this is not something to do to your mom and dad. Something if you don't see your mom and dad and somebody you don't know is coming up to you and they're getting really close to you, maybe even reaching for you, that's when we practice saying these words. So hands up and say, stop, you're not my mom, you're not my dad, let me go. All right, let's do that three more times. Ready, hands up and say, stop. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. Let me go. Now, maybe they haven't even grabbed you yet, right? But that would stop them from wanting to. Let's do it two more times. Ready, hands up, stop. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. Let me go. All right, let's try to say it at the exact same time now. On your mark, get set and go. Stop. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. Let me go. Good job, little leaders. All right, let's go ahead on to the next part of class, which is your stretches. All right, the leaders, let's stretch it out. So legs straight, feet together. What I want you is I want you to take your hands and walk them down your legs as far as they can. If they can touch your toes, that's wonderful. If not, that's okay. Just reach, reach as far as you can. But what I want you to really focus on is getting your chest over your knees. Okay, that's the hard part. Once I do that, this is easy. Ready, reach down, hold that stretch. Ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, a little bit lower, 6, 5, 4, even lower, 3, 2, one, great job. Take one leg and keep it straight. Put the other one around behind you. So I'll show you how I did that again. I lean over to the side that's straight and I sweep this other leg around behind me and then I sit back up straight again, okay? Now from there, I'm gonna lean forward, reach and head down for 10, nine, eight, you're doing great, seven, six, keep it up, five, four, three, a little bit lower, two, one, let's switch it up. Other side, here we go. So again, I do the same thing, I lean this way, I sweep this foot behind me, then I straighten back up again, ready? Reaching forward and hold, ready, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, a little bit lower, three, two, 
one. Good job. All right, here we go. Legs wide into a V. Okay, so for this stretch, what I want to do is I'm going to take my hands and lace them like this and put them behind my head. So we're going to go with Mr. Mershad. See if he can stay with me for side to side stretches. So we stretch this side, side to side. Good reaching, leaning all the way from one side, all the way to the other. I know it's not easy. That's okay. That's because you're tough. You got it. Good. Let's get two more. One, sir. Two, sir. Now we're going to take both hands and we're going to reach to this side. Good. Head down. Good. Now take both hands and reach to this side. Head down. Good. Now take one hand and grab one foot. Other hand, grab the other foot and try to get your nose to point to the floor. It may not touch. That's okay. But point your nose down towards the floor and hold it for five, four, a little bit lower, three, two, one. Last stretch for us today, butterfly. Bring it in. Knees up and down like butterfly wings. Or you can push them straight down to the floor if you can. That's a great stretch. All right, good job. Let's go ahead and hop up and get the next part of class going. All right, little leaders, now we're going to work on your downward and your backwards elbow strike. But the way we're going to do this is a little bit different. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and take this hand, reach up like you're grabbing a handle, and pull the handle down. All right? If you reach up and grab the handle and pull the handle down, that's what we call a downward elbow strike, okay? So that's just like our backwards elbow strike that we're getting stripe number three with, okay? So it's downward, though, okay? So grab with this hand, grab the lever and the handle and pull it down grab the handle pull it down so what i want you guys to do is imagine reach up grab a handle pull it down and then the other one then the other one you're going to keep switching arms for 10 seconds on your marks get set and go for it reach up grab the handle pull it down let go grab the other handle pull it down good alternating one hand then the other hand this is level one which is the easy round keep it going keep it going don't stop don't stop you have a couple more seconds don't quit yet and time all right so that's level one that was the easy one now we're gonna take this hand reach and grab the handle this way pull it backwards other hand grab the handle this way pull it backwards so now it's a little bit different grab the handle pull it backwards grab the handle pull it backwards i've got to pull hard to make sure i pull it all the way out okay so right now we're gonna switch right side left side reach out pull back on your mark get set and go Reach out, grab the handle, pull. Reach out, grab the handle, pull. Reach out, grab the handle, pull. Good. Keep going the whole time. I'll tell you when to stop. Nice and hard and fast with that backwards elbow. Keep going a few more seconds. Don't quit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Good. Good. And time. All right. Very good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a number, okay? Whatever number I say, that's how many handles you have to pull. Now, there's a trick here. Okay, the trick is you can't pull the same handle two times in a row. Now, here's what that means. If I say three, I can go this hand pull down, this hand pull down, this hand pull backwards. Okay, those are three different ones in different order. If I said three, I would not be able to do pull down, pull down, pull sideways. Okay, because I can't do two pull downs on the same arm. Now, I could do pull down, pull down pull down because that was three, but they weren't together. So I can do, uh, so whatever number I say, that number is how many handles you're going to pull. So if I said 47, which I'm not going to, I would go 47 different handles and I can't do the same one twice in a row. That's the only trick. Okay. So whatever number I name, you're going to pull that many handles before I call the next number. I'll do the first couple with you. Remember you can pull down with one arm, down with the other arm, sideways with one arm, or sideways with the other. Here we go. And we're going to start off with three. So pull three handles ready. Go for it. I'm going to pull this one. Boom. This one. Boom. And then this one. Boom. Those are my three, okay? So did you get your three pulled? All right. We'll make it a little bit tougher. Five handles ready. Go. I'm going to pull one, two, three, four, five. All right. I got my five. Did you get your five? All right. We're going to make it a little bit tougher now. Ready? Seven handles ready. Go. Pull one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I didn't do the same one twice in a row, but I'm able to do it twice because I only have, you know, two arms in four directions. So I guess I can, you know, go different ways. All right, here we go. We're going to make it much tougher now. We're going to do 10 handles. Ready? Go. I'm going to pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you get 10 before me? It was kind of a race. I was kind of racing you. All right, we're going to do one more. You got to count all the way to 20, but not yet. 
We're gonna do 20 when I say go, but you can't do the same one twice in a row on your marks. Get set and not yet. Go. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Got it. Did you beat me? Did you get twenty before I did? You are fast. All right. Good job, little leaders. So let's go ahead and go on. But you did an awesome job pulling all those levers. Huh. All right, little leader. So now you do need a ball for this drill. So you can st still have one from another drill. That's great. If we haven't done this yet, then go ahead and grab a ball or something, a pillow, something you can use, a small stuffed animal, but something that's about this size, about the size of your head maybe, okay? Go ahead and grab it. And what we're going to work on here is a jumping drill, but also a balance drill and something called coordination. Can you say coordination? That's a big word, okay? Coordination. So basically, we don't want to fall down. We want to try to keep our balance as we do this drill. All right, so go ahead and take the ball. We're going to take it down, and we're going to put it between our ankles, okay? So it's a little bit higher than our feet, all right? So now what we're going to do from here, very simple, is we're just going to hop, hop, hop right here in place, okay? We're going to hop for 10 seconds. Ready? This is just level one. Get set and go for it. Just nice and light. Hop, 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 hop. Good, don't stop, we're just little tiny hops, little tiny hops like a bunny. Good, practicing our good bunny hops. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, very good. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go just a little bit higher, okay? But we're also gonna go forward, okay? So the idea here is I'm jumping over a candy bar. It's not that big, right? I'm just jumping over a candy bar. So I jump over it, so I'm going forward, forward. Good, we're gonna get a couple more, forward forward okay now then from there you can grab the ball head back put it back all right to four five maybe six hops this is just level two okay and then from here i'll tell you when to stop so once you get forward you're gonna grab the ball and come back ready and go for it so we're jumping over candy bars grab the ball come back and do it again good keep going good 10 seconds left Good, hopping forward. This is the second level, but it's about to get harder in five, four. Keep going, three, two, one, and time. Very good, little leaders. Now, we're not just jumping straight forward, we're jumping diagonal. So if you've ever seen something that's a zigzag, it goes one way, then the other way, then one way, then the other way. We do this around cones a lot, we zigzag, right? So I'm gonna hop forward and to the side a little. Now the other way, I'm getting closer to you. Closer, closer. Once I get really close, I grab the ball. Whoops, I dropped the ball. I head back and do it again. So ready, zigzag hops, and then grab your ball, go back. Ready, set, and let's go. Here we go, zigzag hops. Good, get a couple, grab, and jog back. Good, get a couple of these. These are the harder ones, because we're not just jumping forward, we're also jumping sideways. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, little leaders. So if you want to try something a little bit harder, you can do the same thing and then work on some of your moves. So maybe a hop, high block, hop, high block, hop, high block, hop, high block, okay? Or hop, chop, hop, chop. So for the next time, for this time, what you're going to do is you're going to do a zigzag hop. Every time you land, do one move with your hands. No kicks because we're holding the ball with our feet, okay? So hold the ball with your feet, zigzag hop. So every time you zigzag hop, you're going to do a move. Maybe a back fist, maybe a punch. Maybe an elbow, okay? Ready, get set, and go for it. All right, good. Zigzag hop, do a technique, do a move with your hands. Then hop again, another move. You can do the same move every time, or you can do a different one every time. Keep it up, then grab your ball, head back, and start again. Good, zigzag hops, using your hands, do a technique, a move every time. Five, four, do a couple more. You can do it, three, two, one and you did an awesome job let's go ahead and roll on to the next part of class all right little leaders for this drill you need a pillow or a soft pad of some sort that you can use a stuffed animal would even work but you don't want to use anything hard anything that would hurt your arm or anything that would break if it hit something okay all very important things for this drill okay so here's what we're going to do first first i want you to toss it up bring it down just practice throwing it up above your head and catching it okay and it's not the drill you think it is it's a different one up and down good catch up and down one more time all right if you're not able to get it above your head and catch it hopefully you can still do this drill but it's gonna be kind of hard okay so you're gonna take the pad or pillow whatever you have 
You're going to toss it up. You want it to come down towards your head, and you're going to high block. You're going to try to make it not hit you, okay? So watch. I'm going to throw it up. I'm going to high block so it didn't hit me. Then I'm going to grab it, switch the other arm, toss it up, high block. Then I'm going to go grab it and then try it again. I'm going to go slow motion here. So I'll turn sideways. So I've got it here. I throw it up. It's coming towards my head. High block. Grab it. Now watch. I'm not going to do this. That's not very helpful, okay? I want to high block as it starts coming towards my head. So if I throw it up, it's coming towards my head, boom, that's when I'm going to high block, okay? This is challenging, but you can do it. Here we go. I'm going to set my timer, see how many times you can do this in 30 seconds. Ready? Go. So you throw it up towards your head, boom, high block when it comes down towards your head. Then grab it. Test the other arm. Up, high block. Don't high block until you see it coming down. If you high block as it's going up, that's not really a challenge. Good. Keep it up. A couple more. You got plenty of time halfway there. Throw it up, as it comes down, boom, throw that high block up. Good. If it goes sideways, that means you're doing this. You don't want to do that. You want to go straight up for that high block. Good. Keep it up. You have three. Let me grab mine. Two, one, and time. All right. That was really, really good. Okay. So now this is going to be even harder. I'm going to throw it up in the air. When it comes low, I'm going to low block. So watch. I'm taking this hand. I'm going to throw it up low block as it comes down okay as it gets about that as high as my stomach that's what i'm gonna low block okay so the way i'm doing it is with the same hand okay so watch take this hand toss it up boom low block as it gets to the right height all right this is harder we're just gonna do one arm first then we'll switch so just one arm ready and go toss it up as it comes down boom low block good grab it toss it up boom low block good every time it gets as high as your tummy you're gonna low block the pad see if you can get it down to the ground good keep it up Good, good, good. We have about five more seconds on this arm. So don't stop. Toss it up as it comes down. Boom, low block. There you go. And three, two, one. Let's do the other side. So again, you can practice. Toss it up, low block. Okay, that was a bad low block by Mr. Rashad, but you get the point. I hit it. Toss it up, low block. Okay, so here we go. Timer's beginning. And go for it. So toss it up. When it gets to your stomach, low block. See if you can get a piece of it hitting your arm. Good. Do as many good ones as you can. Grab that pad. Try it again. Toss it up. Hit it with that low block. You've got it. Good. You have five. Keep it up. Four, three, two, one, and time on that one. Great job. So from here, we're going to go on to the next part of class, but you did a great job because if you are able to do that, you're able to keep your eyes focused and your mind focused on what your mission is, and that's what commitment is all about. So for this drill, we're going to cover how to get stripe number two in one of my favorite combinations that we use in sparring when you're in the older kids class and you have all your padding, your, your gear on, you get to do your sparring. So this is a great combo, okay, where it's four moves and it's all on the same side, which means if I do a move with my left, I do all the moves on my left. If I do with my right, I do all the moves on my right, okay? So it doesn't matter which side you do because we're going to do both, okay? So put one leg out and your hands up. So one foot is in front, one foot is behind, and both of your guards are up, okay? So first thing, the first move is a low block. What we're gonna pretend is that someone's trying to hit us right here. So my front arm does a half circle down, and then always comes back to guard. Half circle down, and right back up to guard, okay? Let's do that three times. Ready, one, bring it back, two, bring it back, three, bring it back. Good job, that's the first move. So we do that move, then we pick up our front leg, hide our foot behind our backs, round kick one, Round kick two. For right now, they don't have to be very high, but I would like them to be above your belt to earn your stripe, okay? So my hands are up, low block, pick up my leg and hide my foot. Round kick one, round kick two, and back. So low block, round kick, round kick, and back. Low block, round kick, round kick, and back. And the last move is the same arm that did the low block, does a back fist. When I do a back fist, I bring my elbow up, my hand is close to my chest, I straighten my arm, and I bend it back. So I go from here, low block, Double round kick, back fist all on the same side. We're going to do that three times. Ready, hands up, and low block, round kick, round kick, back fist, that's one. Low block, round kick, round kick, back fist, that's two. Low block, round kick, round kick, back fist, that's three. All right, switchy switch to the other side. Here we go, hands are up. Let's practice that low block. So my front arm, pretending I'm trying, someone's trying to hit me here. Low block, get it right back up. Low block, get it right back up. Low block, get it right back up. All right, now we low block. And we add that double round kick, okay? So low block, double round kick. The round kick is kind of hard, but I'll give you a tip. And the tip is I lift my knee and I hide my foot behind my rear. Then I straighten it and bend it again, okay? So ready? Low block, one, two, and back. Low block, one, two, and back. Good, a couple times. 
Good. All right, now we're going to add the back fist. So again, I point my elbow, I bring my hand to my chest, I straighten my arm and bend it again. So the same one that does the low block, it comes back up, round kick, round kick, back fist. Okay, let's do it a couple times. Ready and go for it. Low block, round kick, round kick, back fist, that's one. Low block, round kick, round kick, back fist, that's two. Low block, round kick, round kick, back fist, that's three. You did a great job. All right, make sure you show us that in class and you can earn strike number two when it's unlocked, okay? Little leaders, you guys did an awesome job in class today. One very important thing that we wanna make sure we're doing when we kick is keeping our hands up like this, okay? So what we're gonna finish up with is one quick balancing drill, but it's not just balancing with using your legs, it's also keeping your hands up. So right now, I want you to have your hands up so you're looking at me between your hands. See, I'm looking at you between my hands, so my hands aren't blocking my view of you. I, my hands are open so I can see you, but they're not below my chin. So they're above my chin, but not in front of my nose, okay? So we're gonna keep our hands up like this, lift this knee up, and we're gonna hold it. Now, if you touch your foot, it's okay. Just pick it back up again. Good, hold that leg up and hold, good. 10 seconds is what we're doing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep those hands up like this, three, two, one, and touchdown. All right, other side. Now again, if you're holding it up there and you touch your foot, that's okay, pick it back up. Here's what you don't wanna do. Don't pick your foot up like this, and then, like this, and then and then drop your foot. Because my hands are mostly focused on, right? So pick up that other leg and hold it up. Ready, 10, nine, eight, seven, whoa, six, five, four, keep it up, three, two, one, and down again. So if you can do that, now, on both sides, keep your hands up. You're going to be really good at sparring when you go into the warrior kids class because they have to keep their hands up like this while they're doing their kicks and punches, okay? So that is your sparring stance, balance, drill. If you struggle, it's okay to practice a couple more times. Rewind this and practice it until you can do it like a champ. Great job, guys. We'll see you next time in class.